Well, I, I think that's up to the commission, uh, the recommendations that were made uh, by uh, the working group uh, in, in this, this particular document uh, included all sex offenses. Well, I don't think anyone has a crystal ball, and, I can, and frankly, we will never know what doesn't happen because something is implemented. Uh, but um, I think when you look at what's already been implemented, uh, which is the additional training um, in some very three very specific areas uh, that were identified by the working group as being areas where there was not enough training particularly not enough continuing training. Uh, coupled with that change, coupled with this change that I'm urging the commission to put into effect, uh, you know, I think our, our odds of having these type uh, incidents go down. But, uh, you know, we'll never be able to know what the ultimate, ultimate effect is, probably. Uh, but, you know, this working group came into existence because of very high profile cases which put a spotlight on uh, the relationship between police uh, and the community. And I looked at this and from the point of view of what can I do uh, as the Attorney General uh, to maybe be of some help. And so we identified the area of training. Uh, because the Ohio Police Officer Training Commission is housed within the, the Attorney General's office, as is the Academy. And so that's that's why we got involved in it, and I think it will make a difference. I think all of this cumulatively will make a difference. General, back to the uh, criminal disqualifiers issue. Uh, one of the points that came out of Governor Kasich's letter to the police board was a concern by some chiefs that too many disqualifiers are preventing police departments I think it's the most important. Uh, you know, there's a small number, small number of, of people who won't be able to pass that. But um, you know, having having the right temperament, I think, is very, very important for a police officer, and having the right psychological disposition. Uh, General, insofar as forces that uh, send their officers for a whole pot of basic training. Uh, with 
the increase in basic hours, what is the increase of cost to local communities to train their recruits? Well, Mary, how many how many courses do we have? We have any now. Basic training? Not at Ohio. Not at Ohio. So, the, you know, the, the training, what we do, I say we, what OPADA does, what the commission does, it, you know, is a couple things, you know. One is to set the qualifications. And so when we looked at these areas, you know, it was on my record.